What's up everybody? Time for another pickup video here. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to do these monthly, but hey, when you got so much stuff, you kind of got to get rid of it. Uh, otherwise it just takes place. I don't know what you guys do, but I put it up on like, I have a shelf of stuff uh, like to make a video with. So it just kind of sits there until I've made a video. Uh, and then when the video's done, then I can put the stuff away. So I just, I, my, my little shelf that I have was getting full, so I want to clear it out and make some space. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, the obligatory limited run, uh, Munch, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, uh, two copies here. I wasn't sure which cover I wanted, so I just ordered two. Um, and I'll probably sell one off. I, I don't want to be part of like the uh, the limited run selling group anymore, but um, both covers look really cool, so I wasn't sure. I mean, this is The original one looks cool like that, but I don't know, that one looks really cool too, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, next, EB Games. Uh, I went in there looking for some stuff uh, to sell on eBay. Uh, now, this isn't the stuff I sold on eBay. This is just something else. Um, I did find what I wanted. And then I also had these on clearance for five bucks. Amiibo Festival. Uh, with the two, Digby and Goldie. No, Isabella and Digby, I guess. Uh, so yeah, uh, five bucks for that. Couldn't really pass that up. And then they also had this on for like three bucks or something like that. So, uh, there might be a new, uh, Animal Crossing coming to Switch. So I figured I'd grab those in case I decide that game is cool and I want to play it. <laughs> and I need some Amiibos for it. Uh, all right. We're going to move over to Thrift Finds here. This isn't a game, but... Found this for like three bucks. Uh, one of my my really favorite movies that I've seen in the past little while. Uh, so, grab that. Interstellar is a great movie if you haven't seen it. This, don't laugh at me. Uh, 007 Nightfire uh, <laughs> for the original Xbox. I picked this up because I was actually talking to my boss. Uh, we had to work together for a day. And I found out he actually likes video games too. And uh, my boss is a little younger than me, but whatever. And so he kind of grew up on, like, uh, GameCube and stuff like that. So he uh, he remembered talking about or playing this game a lot and said he loved it. So he said I should grab it. So I found it at Value Village for, like, four bucks. So I picked it up. Just like I have something to talk to him about. Um, and then these I found the other day. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Uh, really cheap. Again, I think it was, like, four bucks. Um, I know these aren't, like super popular. I grabbed this because it was Vancouver, the Vancouver 2010 ones, so being in Canada, I figured it'd be interesting. And then a uh, Mario Kart Wii case is a little dented there, you can scratch it up, but whatever. Uh, that is a straight flip on that. And then probably the coolest find out of uh, Value Village in a long time is this controller. It is the Gamester I don't know, FPS Pro or something, I think someone called it. Uh, the Radica Gamester, yeah, who knows, 2013, uh, made to look like gun handles, so you, like, hold it and do, 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 shoot, shoot, and it's fully programmable, so you can, like, set your presets, you can change all the button interfaces and what they do and stuff, so, pretty cool, that was only, like, I think I spent five bucks on that, so that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> and then I went to Microplay, again, looking for stuff, uh, to make bundles and sell on eBay. Uh, and was successful, and then I also sat, uh, found this for under 20 bucks. Um, Otagi 2, Immortal Warriors, uh, published by Sega, uh, but developed by Battle Focus from Software. So, uh, this is the second one, obviously, but you can't, if you can't tell by the number two there, this is the second one. And, um, I need to find the first one still. Hopefully I'll find that the Barry Game Exchange is coming up pretty soon. All right, next, um, <laughs> one of the, <sighs> this was going to be a good deal, um, and then it turned out to be not so good of a deal, but I had already made a, I had to give my word that I was going to buy this from the guy in Kijiji, so I kind of had to keep up. There's a bunch of Wii U games, and they were all listed, and I threw him an offer of 50 bucks, he said, sure, um, 
I know it was 55 dollars for everything. Uh, and it included a game that I really wanted. And when I got there to buy it, he's like, oh, my daughter didn't want to get rid of that game. So she's keeping it. So here's the rest and I'll do it for 50 bucks. So it was the, the, the game that made it worth the 50 bucks isn't in this group, which is unfortunate, but whatever. I mean, it's 50 bucks. I sold some games I found in the garbage for 50 bucks. So, uh, I essentially got this for free, I guess. Uh, Skylanders Giants for the Wii U. Uh, not exciting, but uh, it also came with like Skylander portals and a few figures. Uh, same with Skylanders swap ports. I'm sure if people like swap Skylanders, it's cool. Um, actually, I actually might get some Skylanders. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I might get some Skylanders to actually just play with uh, with my son when he gets older. It's an easy way for him to kind of get involved. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't want to go crazy buying figures again. Amiibos are the only ones I make exception for, and even then I'm slowing down. Uh, Mass Effect 3 Special Edition. I don't know what's special about it, but it's there. Uh, Zombie U. This is a double, uh, but everyone should have that in their collection. It's pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> Your Shape Fitness Evolved 2013. What a classic. Um, you can tell the quality here. <clears throat> uh, these next two were probably the best of the bunch. This isn't a Wii U game, but uh, Rayman Origins. Uh, again, wanted that. And then Rayman Legends. Um, so I've heard that Rayman Legends was basically developed for the Wii U, and then they basically made ports of it for other systems. But this is this is the version that was actually meant to be. Uh, so this is the version to have. So that's why I grabbed that. Uh, that's what made me interested. So I think this is like this is the third version of this I have now. I should probably post a, pi a picture on Twitter uh, and see what's up there and see if. Which one's the one worth keeping the most? Uh, and then out of the garbage, I grabbed this, saved from the garbage, a red N64 controller. Stick is, that's just a little bit loose there, but I mean, it's not, I've, I've played with worse. I'm sure it still works. Uh, cleaned it up, it was pretty dirty. Everything's there. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, but those things are pretty much bulletproof, so hard to believe it won't work. Uh, anyways, that's it. A whole bunch of junk. Uh, nothing that great, but if you enjoyed, thanks. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys found. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully my next podcast is up already. <laughs> uh, if not, it'll be up soon. Okay, bye.